Jeff, back with the Manitoba Moose here. So let's uh, let's start with the big thing first. What was the day like on your NHL debut? Uh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a cool day. Uh, parents were able to make it in town. Uh, sisters and girlfriend were there too. So uh, on the short notice, everybody made it. And uh, it was a pretty cool night to be able to share with them. And on top of making your NHL debut, it's against an original six team in, in that building as well. So uh, what was it like hitting the ice there uh, for that first lap? Yeah, I mean, United Center is, is massive and it, it's uh, it's cool. Even like there are a lot of fans there in, in warm ups and it was kind of like, I don't know, it, it was uh, a little surreal doing those those first couple laps. And then uh, hearing the anthem was was absolutely nuts too. All day people were telling me it's probably the coolest anthem in, in the NHL. So. Uh, I was, I was pretty excited to, to be able to have my first one in the rink like that. And you get that first shift, uh, the nerves go on at full tilt, or are you able to just jump right in? Yeah, I think um, <clears throat> I think having a couple preseason games to kind of get some nerves out and, um, you know, with how quickly it all happened, I, I, I don't know if I had a, really enough time to process that uh, I was nervous, but I kind of just hopped out there and tried to make sure it was a quick one on the first one. And uh, it was cool getting back to the, the bench and kind of some of the guys saying, hey, like, welcome to the NHL was a, was a pretty cool moment. So uh, yeah, I don't know if I had enough time to be nervous, but I uh, was definitely excited. And now back with the Moose for this game against the Rockford Ice Hogs. Had some success against the Ice Hogs in the past year. What's it going to take to pick up a couple of points? Yeah, uh, I mean Rockford is always, uh, you know, always gives us a good, good uh, game. They're they're fast, they're physical. Uh, I think we're gonna have to match that, and uh, I think we're gonna have to, you know, continue to build on the things that we've been working on all year. You know, getting to the net, being strong defensively, limiting odd man rushes, and uh, I think it'll, you know, it'll always take a full sixty. And I think, uh, you know, this game's no different. Now, as if bouncing between the two teams, getting your NHL debut in wasn't enough, the NHL trade deadline happens during the whole way, and uh, some big news comes across as Morgan Barron joins the team, a teammate of yours from Cornell. What was it like when you heard the news? Yeah, it was it was pretty cool. Uh, kind of texted him immediately. I found out just I was scrolling on Twitter, and it uh, it popped up, and uh, it was a bit of a shock, and and uh, I was definitely excited to to see Morgs come up to uh, to uh, Winnipeg. Um, yeah, he's a great guy, and he's going to add a lot to our Calder Cup run for sure. Now, you guys were co-captains back in Cornell, so what can you tell us about the big forward joining the team? Uh, just that. He's he's big, he's heavy, he wins his battles. Um, he's someone you can rely on in all situations. And uh, <clears throat> like I said, it's, it's, it's pretty much perfect timing to get him for this playoff run because he just adds you know, uh, so much value for pretty much every asset of the game for us.